Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here. You know, it's a beautiful sunny day and I, I really should be at home filling orders, taking orders, listing items for sale, working on the website, but it's such a beautiful day. I got lawn projects to do. I got all get all this stuff and it, it's all in here now for two or three projects I got to work on today. So until about one o'clock, I'm gonna be busy picking up stuff and working on projects. Then at one o'clock I readjust and I make sure I get my orders out by 4.30. That's what I do every day here at the Toy Car Collector. So join me for this video, because I'm gonna make a video sometime between today and tomorrow to share with you now. Hey everybody, check it out. I've got myself a new display case in this box right here. It came from Amazon. Let's see, I hope it's a good one. Uh, if it is, you can also get yourself one of these lovely display cases. I'm thinking it's lovely. And you can get one too by using the link in the description below. Look down below for the description link right over to Amazon and pick yourself up one of these fabulous display cases. I don't actually know it's fabulous yet because I have not seen one in person. But the price was good and the looks looked good. The pictures looked good. Let's get it out and see what we've got. I got mine in the oak color. The oak color, yes. Let's see what the instructions say. Get out of it. Get, 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 get. I guess that's not going to come out. All right, look at this. We've got it nicely padded in here. Look at all this insulation packing material in there. Looks like it's been able to get to me safely. Let's see, how shall I pull it out with one hand? Look at this, nice foam. Very nice foam, nicely packed in here. It's got some, I see right away there's some clips down here to hold the front on. Now we can get that off. Let's see what it says. All right. Do not, uh-oh, do not tear apart the styrofoam or packing material while unpacking. Instructions to remove the cabinet from the box without breaking the packing material. Yes, because you might have to put it back in the box and send it back in case it's damaged. Let me just go ahead and finish unwrapping this guy and I'll be right back. All right, I got the case out of the plastic and it looks like, you know, I never thought about it, but it's not gonna have glass front, it's gonna have a plexiglass front. So nicely they have left the peeling uh, paper on the plexiglass, so now I gotta go ahead and get this stuff off. Very carefully though, you don't wanna get your scratch up the plexi with your fingernails, so I'm gonna take a little time to pull this gently off of the plexiglass, getting all the bits because it likes to pull apart different areas. It's gonna make it quite complicated. Pulling off the plexiglass cover. All right, let's get to the finish and I'll get this pulled off. Once you get it started in a straight line, it comes off pretty good. This plexiglass is really installed nice in here. There's a, there's a, a bead of caulk around the exterior and then it's got these little metal wedges in it. Really nicely done. There's the case standing upright. This one has shelves that just go directly across with a nice black felt background. And of course, it's not going to be displayed like this. Close the clamps. All right, close the clamps on the side. Let's take a look at the back. All right, taking a look on the back, there are four picture frame type mounts screwed into the wood. And here's the hardware for that. Look at that, we've got some uh, sheetrock supports there for the screws. And then there's hooks right there, real nice setup. Now I just gotta find some place to mount this. I was gonna put it on my display case downstairs. I'm gonna go see if I can find a place to put it because I wanna put my new collection in this case so I can enjoy it for a while. It's got, I'm noticing here there's a couple of support screws in the middle. That's for holding the shelves which go this way. 
Get it nice in the middle there so it doesn't uh, bow down there in the middle. It's got nice staples all the way around the inside with this back piece inset. Looks real good. These are screwed in. These each have six screws on them. Nice, there's three. So this just looks like it's a pretty goodly, good made case. Let's go find a place to mount it. All right, so I found the only place in my house that's still available wall and that's here in the laundry room. Next to the laundry basket goes right here. Oh, and my Hot Wheels 2018 full series, 475 cars in that box. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the top of the case, every place where there's one of these hook things on the back and I'm put a little mark here and then I'm gonna raise this up onto the wall using my level to make sure I got it level and then I'm going to mark the wall where I need to put these holes and mount the mounts to secure this beautiful display case up onto the wall. Okay, I got my marks on the wall now and all I have to do is mount these little brackets right here. I can screw them in if my wall is hard enough. I'm not sure what's behind here. I think it's hardboard. I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then I'm going to screw this in using, I think these are like a sheetrock screw, right into the wall there. Alright, I got one in so far, a little crooked, but what you had to do is drive, drive the screw through the hole make it a little bit bigger in the sheetrock and then go ahead and drive this through into the sheetrock and then go ahead and screw right into the sheetrock support. All right, now the case is on the wall and boy, you know, looking at it, it looks to me like this case is going to be great for things, not just red lines, but all kinds of different rumblers, Grand Toros, you name it. I'm going to get a few pieces and put in there and see how it looks. Hey, check it out. Look at this. Now I've got a few things in here and I was thinking I'd put red lines in here when I first got it. I think red lines would look good if you had a lot of light, but it's a little dark down in here. So I think my red line club cars are going to look good in here. Some of my newer Hot Wheels and uh, Grand Toros are going to look pretty good in here. Also some Matchbox Major Packs. So look at all the space there. It looks like how many cars could you put in here? It looks like two, four, six, eight, ten. About 12 across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 uh, rows all together, 6 times 12, 72. Looks like you can put a lot of cars in here, plus some long ones. I think the case originally is designed for trains, so you can put those in there too, of course. And, and rumblers are going to look fantastic in here. A lot of different variety. Let me pull this back up again so you don't have to look at all my boxes in the background. But this is fitting real nice right here, and it looks great. I think everybody should get a case like this. So use my link below. Use my link below in the description. Go on down there. Click on the Amazon link. Get yourself one of these cases. About 100 bucks, really. It's a great, great deal from Amazon. Oak display case comes in a couple different colors. Okay, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this wonderful display case video.